One of the biggest names in comedy joining forces for Laugh Aid. It's me. Give it up for Mr. John Cleese. He wants to introduce Santa. That's why he came to my fucking house to go do it. Oh my God, that was unbelievable. Hello, everybody. Well, hello, everybody. Motherfucking Oswald. Let's all enjoy Mark Maron. Hey, hi, it's Mark Maron. <laughs> We are here with Amber J. Lawson, dear friend and founder of Comedy Gives Back, among other things. Hi, Amber J. Hi. Amber J, Comedy Gives Back, what is it? Well, Comedy Gives Back is a nonprofit creating a safety net for the comedy community. And we started it 10 years ago. We are an overnight sensation 10 years in the making. And we have always been at the cross section of comedy, charity, and digital. So we have been streaming comedy for over 10 years. However, before we used to use comedy to raise money for other, organization, other organizations like Malaria No More and Feeding America and um, you know, various organizations. And two years ago, we pivoted in to creating a safety net for the comedy community because comics like road comics the ones who are on cruise ships those who haven't become sag astra dga wga have no union no support system for them and if something you know god forbid goes wrong or they need just a little gap financing or a little medical support that we can be that safety net for them. So, and you and I go way back. I first met you, you were working at National Lampoon. Yes. And we worked together on a, a Mania, I think called Mania TV. Live. We created the National Lampoon Lemmings and it starred Adam Devine and Anders Holmes and Blake Aunt Jillian Bell. So you've been pioneer in video and content for a long time. Then you went to, after that, that was 2008, and then I, the economy thing happened. Then the, then the market crashed, and then I went to Babblegum, which was an Italian company, did international comedy. And then um, I went to AOL and ran all the content over there. I, you know, I had kind of like a life aha moment when I was at AOL of, you know, I have all of the, these skills. I have all these viewers. I have all these eyeballs. I know how to draw in uh, people through content. What if I use my superpowers for good? What if so I could have an impact? Yeah. You've done that. And you started something called Good Amplified. Qu quickly, what is Good Amplified? We amplify the good of nonprofits across social media. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. And then I'm, I'm at home the other day, and I see on April 4th, uh, the internet was like exploding, and the hashtag was, one of the hashtags was comedy gives back. And I was like, and my wife says, isn't that Amber J? And I, I was like, what is she up to now? And I turn <laughs> on, and there's a live stream, and there's Adam Sandler. I don't even know in what room he was in, just cursing up a storm. What? What happened? What did you do, MJ? So, Comedy Gives Back has always rose to the occasion of the community and what's a bigger moment than what we are experiencing right now with COVID-19. And we decided we were gonna create a, a crisis relief fund for the comedy community. And what better way than to live stream it, because that's what we've been doing for 10 years. So we cooked up Laugh Aid, Comedy Gives Back Laugh Aid, and took over the internet, 4, 4, 4 p.m. Pacific, and streamed everywhere. And you know what's been um, beautiful in this pivot that we've had into uh, becoming a nonprofit and, and being the safety net of the comedy community is everyone's a yes. 
rarely do we run into anyone that says no to us or I don't, I don't like that uh, mm -hmm. idea or I'm not going to support that. There, uh, Richard Lewis is on our board and he said to us when he was recording, we did a Christmas song called Christmas Magic and he came and sang on it. And uh, he said, I wish this was around when I was coming up. How many times did I feel alone? Our kind of catchphrase is the job is to be alone on stage. Being alone off stage is tragic and there's a tragedy. How do we come together as a community? And so having this, so we, we supply these services and we partnered with the MPTF and the Comedy Stores Comedic Assistance Fund. And so we have a, a 818 number. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Dial that number. Dial this number and they have caseworkers there who can support you in mental health services on a sliding scale. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have an elderly parent who needs a, a you know, how to figure out elder housing. Um, maybe you have medical bills or need health insurance. Uh, maybe you need help with your taxes. It's there to help navigate being a performer in and not being in a traditional line of work. Like, you know, frankly, so many of us now aren't in traditional lines of work that used to exist. However, so we've created that, these, these buckle, buckets of mental health services, of substance abuse and um, grants. So one-time grants, um, very much modeled off of Music Cares and, and the executive director of Music Cares is on our board also, Harold Owens. He's a magical being. And, and uh, what they do is they give these grants and Reggie Watts did our fundraiser in December and he shared with us when he first moved to LA he couldn't pay his rent one month and he went to Music Cares and they gave him a grant of $800 and that made all the difference in the world for him to continue to pursue his career you know it's that gap financing that gap grant that little nudge that supported him in a time when he needed it and also just to know you're not alone you're not alone in this. We need to support our arts. We need to support laughter. We need to raise the vibration of the planet through laughter. Amen to that. So, so people can go to comedygivesback.com and donate now to support comedians that are in need in the way that you described, right? And who did, just describe how it came together. So you're sitting at home one day and like, tell us, tell me, tell us. How it happened, it, you know, it, it all happened on a Friday afternoon. I was having a call with Paul Tellner and, and Paul's a long time friend. In fact, we did a show with him at Mania TV, by the way, and he is now at Broadband TV. And we were just talking and spitballing. He's like, how can, how can we do stuff together? What do you think we could come? We were just spitballing and I was like, you know, we should do like a live stream, like a variety show, like a stand-up show. And maybe, you know, cause the clubs were closing that it was, it was like the Friday after the Thursday that everything started closing, you know, it felt like that Thursday was the tipping point. And we were having this conversation, the clubs were all closed, all the gigs were, were ending. And we're like, people are going to need to laugh. The comics are going to need to perform and, and they're going to need cash flow. How are we going to make that happen? We started spitballing. Little did I know at the same time, Zoe was having a conversation with uh, one of our pro producer friends at Starburns Audio uh, about the same kind of thing. And we hop on the phone literally like, you know, Friday afternoon and we're like, we're gonna put on a show. <laughs> Let's put on a show. And we just sprung into action and we're like, we created this really rudimentary spreadsheet and like, I have a relationship here and I have a relationship here and let's just have conversations and see how this could come together. And, you know, next thing, one thing led to another. So really the four of us worked together to get this show launched. So the three founders of Comedy Gives Back and then Brian Bald Baldinger. And we went out and we aligned with Laugh Lounge. Laugh Lounge is a comedy app and they do 
production in all the clubs. And so it aligned very quickly. They basically donated most of their services. It aligned with them birthing into the comedy community in a big way and truly supporting the community, creating a platform to jump off. And from there, every, you know, everything unfolded. Yeah. I'm looking now at the logos on, uh, and I see Amazon Prime Video, I see Comedy Central, um, I see live. We had, we had content and distribution partners. Twitch gave us their homepage. We were on the homepage of Twitch all day. We had huge numbers. Uh, they brought, they brought us, uh, Amazon, um, Amazon prime video. We had stamps.com, which was also a, uh, gave us a big donation. Uh, we had Twitter gave us their, uh, homepage placement, Facebook juiced us, um, comedy central, all things, comedy, earwolf and starburns audio, which is basically all the comedy podcast studios were our content partners because we made a decision that it wasn't really going to be a stand-up special that podcasting coming together talking about things would be the format that would work best and they everybody brought in their talent we brought in adam sandler and uh you know all all the names that showed up can you please do a name drop right now that'd be amazing oh my gosh so howie mandel <laughs> Yeah. Eliza Schlesinger, Adam Sandler, Drew Carey, Jim Gaffigan, Sarah Silver, Hannibal Burris, Whitney Cummings, uh, yeah. Russell Peters was a surprise drop in and close the show. Uh, we had some we had some people that were in the wings that were floating around. So what's come out of this? A couple of things have come out of this. One, we're paying out grants right now. We have a big announcement coming up to share, like the impact it's actually having, immediate impact that we're having in the comedy community and where people are having to choose between paying their rent or eating. We are, we are filling that gap immediately, which has been like so fulfilling of the vision and what we set out to do. Um, we're, we're paying people faster than the government. Second is, um, creating community. So we have a private Facebook page for comics. You have to answer a series of questions to get into the group. But what happens in there is connection, community, and sharing of resources. Some of the people in there is, I'm going to have to pick up a name. Judd Apatow is in there. So it's, it, you know, it's, it really is all of the community coming together to support each other. The third thing that has come out is uh, wanting this content to carry on. So people are coming to us about doing specials, you know, becoming the new comic relief is really what's coming back at us is this is what we're aligning on. We're coming together as a community, creating the safety net and the support and doing it through laughter that everybody can enjoy. Yeah. So let me ask a question. Um, or quickly, what kind of numbers did you see? You said big numbers, but were they? What, which, which numbers? All right. Number of viewers? Viewers, yeah, viewership numbers. Well, so they're still coming in. I'm getting reports off of platforms. One of the things, so we had like a million views, actual views on uh, Twitch alone. The, the reach of that was astronomical. And on Comedy Central, they had, there was a 5 million in reach and they had 13,000 concurrent viewers. Wow. So just to give perspective, uh, on a normal roast, which is a tent pole for Comedy Central, if they have 6,000 concurrent viewers, that, that's like, you know, a win. So we doubled that number in concurrent viewers over the eight hours that it actually was. We set out to do four hours. We ended up with eight. <laughs> uh, wait, so where did Comedy Central push it out? Was it on their so YouTube? It was on, it was on their YouTube and their Facebook and their wow. Twitter. Do you think, Amber J, you're a veteran of, of the entertainment industry, a veteran of comedy. 
you also know the difference between television and, and even early on social video. Do you think that COVID is going to have an impact on the way people consume content? And speak to that for a second. I think that this quarantine is such an opportunity and a reset of what we have as expectations of our content. Um, a, I know for me, I'm consuming so much content, like so much great, rich storytelling, but also I have so much more forgiveness in how it's delivered, especially in broadcast. Seeing everybody from their houses is frankly compelling. I like being in people's houses. It's yeah, intimate. Totally. It's, you get to see how people live and what they're like really about, not like the sheen and like mm -hmm. the razz and the dazz, tazzleness. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you can look that up in the dictionary. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it, I really think there, if, if we stay in here long enough, like, you know, there will be a moment where it just, it just shifts. And, and I don't know how many days that is, but, you know, we're never going back to normal. There is, it's a new normal and, and those who adapt, and this is a beautiful moment for entrepreneurs and for storytellers. And, you know, this is, when, when the market crash happened in 2008, 2009 is when Uber and Airbnb were born. That's when new businesses are born now is the time. So, you know, go inward, get introspective, vision, dream, you know, go, anything's possible. This is, this is when new, new businesses, new paradigms are built. I love it. That's beautiful. So how, if people want to work with you, what's the best way to do it? They reach out to the website? On your website? Yes. Well, yeah, come to comedygizback.com or just email me. <laughs> Amber okay. J. Lawson on every platform. Fly into the DMs. Yeah. Tinder. What's up? What's up? I am uh, not on Tinder. I, I was, I'm kidding. Um, are you uh, looking for anything specific in the media? I know you worked with, you said you, to, you, you still need a central hub to pull this off, right? Yeah. So um, for this, what, what's awesome is, and what I'm so grateful for is uh, I am a digital OG. <laughs> we go way back. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm grateful that I wasn't a jerk because those relationships came mm -hmm. back tenfold. In fact, uh, we hubbed out of Access TV, AXS TV downtown LA. Um, and it, we hooked up through my old friend, Doug Scott, well, who doesn't our know old friend, Doug Scott. Scott yeah. And which was, um, you know, the stream couldn't have happened without that really. Like we needed that, uh, technology and that hub in order to push out the product that we did. And, um, and we're grateful. And, and everybody just stepping up all the different platforms, all the different partners, lending their talents and their special juice and their, and their creativity and the wingdings that they had made it magical, made it, you know, this is a, I do believe a moment in time, if I can just yeah. step on my soapbox for a moment where please, please. we're shifting from the egoic mind into like community and contribution. And it was a beautiful expression of here's a vision and people jumped on board and it wasn't about any, any, whether you were a superstar, like on TV and film, or you own a big studio, everybody just rolled up their sleeves and used what they had, what they are, you know, what they had in their toolbox and threw the resources into the pot. And this is the magical mix that came out. And because of that, you know, we've raised uh, over $400,000 at this point and growing, which translates into actual food on people's tables, roofs over their heads, keeping people healthy, keeping people's like mental wellness aligned, keeping families together. 
and keeping this art form that actually brings joy and truth telling to our planet alive. You know, that was fucking awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm ranting. I'm on no, fire. You know great about this conversation, other than you know, I consider you such a dear friend, and it's just I'm having so much fun. We're totally missing meetings. We should be in right now. Uh, right. I just I think it's awesome. Um, you know, I was having a conversation with Mikey about this, and that there are a lot of funny people that don't, that they're just pushing to their social. And to your point earlier about uh, this giving rise to a new opportunity for entertainment and reshaping it, after, similar to what happened in 2008, I gotta feel like there's a, some kind of aggregation play here where you could reinvent what a comedy network looks like. Is that something you're thinking about right now? Or are you mainly focused just on making sure comedians, uh, people in the industry are, you're redistributing the wealth, you're generating attention and redistributing the wealth? All three of the co-founders, myself, Zoe Friedman and Jody Lieberman are all producers and uh, women of, the, um, of content creation and distribution uh, in the comedy world. And, and so I, I do think that's always something, you know, content delivery is always in our consciousness. Our focus right now is to make sure people get what they need and that we stay healthy in our mind, body, and spirit. And, uh, and who knows, who knows what could come out of this? Ooh, we're open. No. People are coming to us, you know, like um, we're receiving. I receive. Nice. God bless you. Uh, well, Amber J, thank you so much for doing this. Of I've, course. It's been really fun. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't look like shit. I've been trying to switch and whatever, but it's my first time trying to record a conversation on Zoom. I, I've been so inspired. I went and looked it up and I was so happy that you took the time to, to chat today of and cut, we'll cut this down. Maybe just run the whole thing. Uh, but thank you. If you want to get in touch again, it's, it's, it's Amber J Lawson comedy gives back.com. And to watch the stream, go to, well, you can watch, you can watch the stream on comedy gives back.com or comedy central's YouTube channel mm. or laugh lounge app, the laugh lounge app. And it's only up for the week. And then there'll be cut downs on Sirius XM and Spotify. Oh, wow. So you windowed it. Yeah. Huh. Oh, look at that. Well, what are you doing there? Oh. <laughs> and people want to buy it. But we're also, uh, you know. Um, it's a piece of history. It's a piece of history. It's for so, it's fans. Like you got to get in everybody's house. It's, yeah, anyway, you were saying? Well, so it's, there is this balance between like the contributions that the talent gave and being respectful of that. And then also, you know, if, if they're willing to leverage it to raise money, we're figuring that out. You know, we, they were very gracious in just saying yes. People just yeah. said yes. And then, you know, we're, it rolls out after that and we'll see what that looks like. Yeah, cool. Amber J, keep doing amazing things. Thank you again for doing this. Uh, we'll do that. Yeah, keep letting the energy flow and being the beautiful you. Uh, wow. See you on Zoom, I guess, until we get out of this quarantine. Yes. Take care.